Come on along. Hey guys. I'm going to show you a few things here. Number one, give it the program. Somebody had asked me about how to grease the bogey bearing. So I'm going to show, but I'm going to show how it's made also. If I can get it apart here in short order. This is a tapered dowel pin. And then there's a plug right here. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Let's just take this dowel pin out. It's really nice to have air uh, hammer uh, little pin removers. Taper dowel pin. That's the key that holds everything together. Of course, now I gotta be a smart ass. Get that plug out. I gotta find a bolt. I'll be right back. Alright, where was I? Okay. I was gonna go through this explanation. Let me do it a little bit differently here. Excuse the noise, I gotta make room here in my toolbox. Okay. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to show you how, how to grease your bogey bearing, okay? Pretty simple. Well, let me do it like this. Okay, number one, every manufacturer is a little bit different. So they're going to tell you, in your, first of all, look in your manual. It should tell you how to grease it. Some of these, most of these are made by the same couple of companies in the world. You know, there's a lot of companies out there. But listen. You can hear them in there. And the, you can hear the dirt. This one is the one that we just took off that D1010. And uh, you shouldn't be able to turn that by hand when you got it off. Trust me. So anyways, I'm going to show you what they do. Some manufacturers are a little different. There's a grease fitting. There's one directly opposite of it. And sometimes the manufacturer, let's say they don't know the application. This one is specific. There's four tapped holes in this up on this side, and I know this is the top. That's how this bogey is made. Um, so they provide you with two grease fittings. Some have, like I said, some will have four. Uh, there's also a, a main plug right here. There's another one here, okay? What typically, what we're taught, what we're trained is you don't just go and pound the grease in there because in these, sometimes there's a, a, a rubber seal and the giant ones, there's a huge rubber seal and you'll know it because that rubber seal like on a uh, slewing bearing on a Ponzi crane for instance, that rubber seal, if you're pounding the hell out of it or if it starts wearing out, that rubber seal starts coming out. That's your first indicator that it's going bad. But in this application on a rear end differential, um, that seal has to keep that oil from intruding into the grease, what's in the differential. And sometimes that seal, if you pound too much grease in it, without releasing grease in one of the other grease fittings next to it or let's just say in this application we have one straight across from the other. There's one here, there's one here. So what you do when you're going to go to grease your machine is you take your little handy dandy nut driver or whatever you got, your, what is this, uh, nine millimeter it's going to be 5 16 3 8 whatever grease fitting and you're going to take the one out opposite or you're going to take one off in a uh, 90 degrees from it and you're going to pound grease in until it comes out this hole or the opposite one you're not going to let it build pressure in there 
don't push. You want that grease to follow the path and have a way out to get clean grease in there. Um, that's the best way to do these. Now, I've seen it before where we'll open up a differential and inside the differential there's just this mountain of grease right here. Right down on the bottom. It's, it's pushing through the seal and it's not going through all the ball bearings all the way around here. That's why we are told to take one out near it, next to it, across from it, whatever the case may be, and pound grease until you got clean grease or at least old grease coming out of this side. And if you want to, you know, I don't know, in this particular one, there's a cap here. Um, this is top. This is almost top. This is top dead center, if you will, on this particular bearing. This is a little bit off. Now, if the factory uses it for filling, I don't know. Um, but in the same instance, here you go. You can take this one out, pump in from this side. Take it, leave it out, pump in from this side and till you get the grease flowing out. Now that doesn't get me down to the bottom, I know. Um, so at any rate, there's different ways of doing it, but you don't want to build pressure inside here. And grease guns can re create a lot of pressure and they can blow that seal out inside. So you want to take a fitting out and let it come out the other side. That's exactly what you do, you know. Um, this is a radial bearing. I mean, it's it's a roller bearing, and it is it needs grease everywhere. It doesn't matter where. It just needs to continue. It may only move this much in the course of its whole life, but you need fresh grease. So now what I'm going to do is show you how it's made. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. I just got done making myself a slide hammer. I already took the liberty in the beginning to, oh look at, huh, they score it too? Anyways, it's a tapered dowel pin. And this is what keeps everything together, this key. This goes in from the other side, you just pound it out in reverse. If you want to get all the marbles out for your grandkids and your kids, all the steelies, the ball bearings, this is how you do it. I already took this out, you saw that. Now I just went and welded myself a little a nut to a, a bolt and we're gonna pull that plug. And look at there. You see that? That's made specifically and that's why there's a tapered dowel pin in there. That roller bearing, that roller has the bearing, the ball bearing, has to go past that. And I'm going to attempt to pull some of them out right now for you. Um, I got my little magnet. And we'll see. Okay, so I can see the ball bearing in there. Nope. I just need a, I think I need a stronger magnet. Come on, he says, come on out of there. There we go. That's what's in there. A ball. Let me show you. Oh, these are small. I got some big ones outside. Not big balls, but yeah, big. All right, and then there's a plastic. Uh, I don't know what it is. If it's high density, blah, 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 blah. But there's a ball and a spacer all the way around continuously. And that's how they build them. That's how they put them together. You gotta understand that. Ooh, look at that. That's kind of cool. I haven't seen that kind before. The 
see how they got slots in there and they're not through slots but the grease well are they nope the grease will get in there and act as a as a cushion and stay in them slots as long as you grease it let's continue shall we see if we can get some more out Boom, boom, boom. Where'd we go? Should be able to get them out. Just like that. Yeah, I'm gonna get them out of there too. Too bad them aren't uh, steel, huh? Well, you get the idea. You get the idea. That's how it's made. Another cup. Throw in the trash. Maybe I can get me a pliers and a canedle nose. And take them all out of there, eh? Right here for you. Maybe we can separate this thing. Just feel like the doctor. You're going in for your exam. So you just, that's how they build it. That's exactly how they build it. Somebody's job to drop their balls all day long. Isn't that something? I'll do that and I'll come back. Well, I got them all out. I ain't going to count them. I got enough grease on me. Any luck? This puppy will fall right out. With any luck. Oh, I got one knot. See, I missed a plastic spacer. Now I'll show you the seal I'm talking about that can get pushed out of these things. It's right. Oh, let's see what I can set this on. That's not a good idea. That probably ain't either, but it's good enough. This seal right here. Oh, and I did I forget to mention you can probably grease it right there also in the face. Okay, so this is the seal I'm talking about right here. It will get pushed out if you over grease it. It's in that groove right here. And what was happening with this one is it was leaking oil down. Hey, that's a different, anyways, that may be attached to that one to grease in between. Like I said, you got to check with the manufacturer what they recommend. Let me grab some towels here. Um, this is the main lip seal down here, this big one that keeps the oil out. And you can see where the the balls ride and where that seal just came out of. 
And in the back, when you assemble it, there's another big seal that keeps the oil out. But when they start flexing and moving too much, that oil infiltrates and it leaks out. And that's how we knew this one was bad. Careful. And you can see it. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. You see the check marks? You see where it's wore in? Right here? Because they don't move a whole lot, but they move enough. And that's the wear. Right here is, it's not, and here it's deep. Right in there. Now you multiply that across, I don't know, there's probably 30, 35, maybe 28, maybe 26, I don't know. Um, so that's why it's important to take the other grease fitting out and grease them on a regular basis because you know these things are expensive you're talking I don't know anywhere from 3500 to five grand for these things and then the big ones like on that Timco ah. so at any rate that's my little spiel hope you don't mind me taking a bearing apart I wanted some marbles anyways because I lost all mine. But anyways, yeah, take your grease fitting out next to it or opposite it and get grease in there. You can tell, I'll just do one more demonstration here. I'll get dirty, I gotta wash up. You see how brown that is? And crappy and rusty? And not anywhere in that whole thing that I just wiped off did I find any fresh grease. None. And nothing against the operator, that's, even this, that's just, that's old. You know, got to get that crap out of there and grease these things. It'll last a lot longer for you. So, all right, I'm going to shut up and go clean up now. So, I hope you learned something, how to grease a bogey bearing. Push it in one side, let it come out the other side. Push it in one side, let it come out the other side. It's the best way. You want fresh grease in there, push the dirt out the other hole. If any dirt got in there, and you know God knows these guys go in the swamps and the in the mud and the whatever, so push that grease out the other hole. Um, it'll give you a lot longer life out of it. All right, to the garbage, and we will see you next time. See you, boy. Hey, you guys. If you enjoy what you see, you like the videos, hit the subscribe button, share, like, comment, all that good stuff. If you don't, then go away. But if you do, share, and let's just make this just, it's awesome. It's awesome. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button, thumbs up, see ya.